this is Vanessa again with the latest Tazian news, and here they are. At least 2,000 pro-democracy has been killed by junta military in Myanmar since took power last year. The head of a parallel civilian government said at least 2,000 pro-democracy fighters have been killed in Myanmar, battling a military junta that seized power last year, urging allies to provide military aid. <laughs> The acting president of the National Unity Government, comprised of remnants of the administration of the post leader Aung San Suu Kyi and others. The Southeast Asian nation has been in turmoil since the military seized power in February 2021, reversing a decade long democratic experiment and using deadly force to crush protest. While Western nations have voiced support for the national unity government and sanctioned military commanders and companies, they have stopped short of military aid for the opposition and say the regional ASEAN, which has a convention of non-interference in each of others' affairs, is best placed to solve the crisis. Kamala Harris said the importance of human rights to Filipino youth. The Vice President of the United States, Kamala Harris, attended a forum for the young Filipino women during her visit to Manila and spoke about the importance of human rights across different cultures and nationalities. Speaking at the United States Embassy event, Harris highlighted the need for understanding basic human rights. I think it's important to start from a perspective of knowing, not just believing, but knowing. You're born with rights. You're born with these rights. You're not asking someone to do you the favor through the benevolence of their existence to grant you these rights. They are your rights, God-given. And I think it's always important to remember that in the fight for human rights. And then to remember, therefore, there is a universality about those rights. So we will not measure the the, the rights that people have, the human rights, based on cultures or nations. There is so much about the fight for human rights that requires us to remember that we are not alone. Because it is a very, um, it is a, it is, it requires movements. It requires working against systems that have been designed in many situations um, to, to neglect, if not be more affirmative, in overlooking or even attacking human rights. So when I think about the fight for human rights, I think about it in the context of what it requires for the fighters. Harris visited Philippines to improve bilateral ties with Manila and reaffirmed the U.S. commitment to the country as a defense partner. Harris is expected to visit Palawan Island to meet with civil society groups, the Philippine Coast Guard, and deliver a speech about maritime cooperation and issues on the South China Sea. Thousands of people from foreign gather for anime festival in Singapore after COVID hiatus. Cosplay enthusiast Frankie has traveled from Malaysia just to be one of the thousands attending the anime festival Asia in Singapore. We all love animes, we all love ACG, so this is why we are here. We can know each other. So this community is strong, the bond is strong. So I think this is, this is a fantastic thing in my whole life. This event gather the people around the world. People around the world is with different culture, with different understanding, but we all know one thing, that we, the thing we love is one thing that tastes the same. So this is fantastic. So that's why I think this is the chance that we can meet each other in different countries. Donning the best cosplay outfits fans relished in all the attractions and offer and cheered for the favorite anime characters for the first time in three years after COVID-19 pandemic. 
AFA's festival director, Sean Chin, said that fans had already missed the event and they expect tickets sales this year to match or surpass their previous 120,000 attendees recorded in 2019. Ticket sales have also been propelled by an uptick in online purchases. Bank of Korea ready to readjust the pace of tightening to respond to the slow in economic acceleration. Good morning to all. The bank's governor told the Reuters next conference said South Korea's central bank is ready to readjust the pace of its policy tightening to respond to an economic slowdown and slumping property market. Uh, we, together with the growth slowdown, as I mentioned before, our board will calibrate the pace of the uh, uh, monetary policy tightening, and then we are trying to uh, you know, achieve the soft landing of the housing prices. So it sh definitely, I think, uh, domestic uh, uh, you know, conditions, especially inflation and growth, all these things should be our priority in, our, in deciding our uh, interest rate. But uh, we will definitely look at the impact from the US Fed policy on our external sector. So there are a lot of uncertainties. But if things go as we expected, we hope that uh, uh, you know, we can probably, the terminal rate can be around 3.5% at this moment. But Ri Chang Yong declined to say whether the Bank of Korea will stop raising interest rates before the United States Federal Reserve, though he added that it was now better able to take into account domestic factors than before. The Bank of Korea, which was among the first central banks of major economies to start raising rates in August last year, has lifted the benchmark rate by a total of 275 basis points from a record low figure of 0.5%. Foreign tourists visiting a province in Thailand because of the monkey feeding festival. A city in Thailand laid out plates of fruits, desserts and vegetables for thousands of monkeys as a token of appreciation for attracting foreign tourists after a pandemic-induced lull. Workers and tourists dished out two tons of fruits and vegetables worth over 100,000 baht or $2,801 at the annual buffet for about 4,000 macaques lives on the streets and inside the Praprang Samyo Temple complex in downtown Lopburi. The hungry macaques were jumping and clambering onto the fruit trays as they pick up their favorite morsels. The event was highlighted for some local and foreign tourists. But we'd heard that monkeys, watch out, there are a lot of people afraid of the monkeys, but <laughs> I think that people are just overreacting. The monkeys are great. <laughs> yeah, <fun>. yeah. <laughs> uh, well, my husband enjoys the monkeys so much. It was one of the things he looked forward to most about going to Thailand. And so when we heard this festival was happening while we were here, we had to come. Uh, it's just amazing. It was such a blessing and honor to be able to help arrange the fruit. And, and it was so cool the way the monkeys received it. It was really beautiful. <laughs> The festival was started in 1989 by young youth as a way to boost tourism in the province, which is home to the 10th century Prapang Somyot temple, and the macaques will get four different servings of food throughout the day. Chinese president meets with Laos president to share a future. Xi Jinping, Chinese president, held talks with Tonglong Sisoluit, general secretary of the Lao president. Tonglong expressed deep condolences over the death of Comrade Jiang, saying that it is a huge loss for the CPC and the Chinese people, and the LPRP and the Lao people feel the same way. Tonglong said that Comrade Jiang was a close friend of the LPRP and the Lao people. During his visit to Laos in 2000, Jiang proposed the principle of long-term stability, good neighborly friendship, mutual trust, and all-around cooperation, which has played a guiding role in the development of bilateral relations. According to the leaders of the two countries who respect and trust each other politically, benefit each other economically, deepening mutual understanding and amity in the people-to-people -people exchanges, constantly deepen the building of a community with a shared future for China and Laos, and contribute to the building of a community with a shared future for mankind. 
After their talks, she and Tong Lon jointly witnessed the signing of cooperation documents between the two sides in the fields of political parties, economy and trade, finance, culture and education, and at the local level. Thank you for head watch today's episode, folks. Have a nice weekend. Stay safe, stay healthy. See you.